What happened? I blew the stock servo. Sucks. The walk back. It's his fault. <laughs> What is up guys? My name is Mark Senrio. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlogs. Yes guys, I blew my servo in my Traxxas TRX4 while I was sport. Sport? What's sport? My Traxxas TRX4 Sport uh, while I was trail riding with my family. A lot of times we like to go hiking. I'll bring an RC car. And yeah, it's fun. We do like three miles with TRX4. It's so much fun. Anyways, yeah, I blew the servo and it was weird. It, it didn't do anything crazy. It wasn't like I was wedged in a rock and I was trying to turn it. It literally was driving and it clipped like a piece of wood and that piece of wood jerked the uh, the wheel over and it blew the motor. The teeth, the servo teeth, gears aren't stripped. It's the motor is just completely gone. So yeah, I need to replace it. I knew I need to replace it anyways. It just didn't have enough torque for what I wanted to do with the crawler. So I, luckily, this is the car that CJ Moto sent me. Again, big shout out to CJ Moto. He sent me this car. He's a fellow YouTuber. He said, hey man, See if you can rebuild it. It needs it needs just a little bit of work. Well, it needs a lot of work. But one good thing that came out of it is it came with a Protec 150T servo. I am gonna use this in my TRX4 Sport. Looks like he's shortened the servo wire, but nonetheless, I did make sure it works. Works perfectly fine. I'm gonna put this TRX4. Uh, I'm gonna add this piece. This is the 8247X. This is the metal servo horn for the Traxxas TRX4 Sport or TRX4. A 25-2 spline, which can work on Protec servos. So I have that. I want to put that in. Um, that's not what I'm going to do today in this video, though. Today, I am going to drive my X-Max. I'm going to drive it at my favorite bashing spot. So I've got batteries charging right now. As soon as they're done, we're going to load it up, and then we are going to go bashing. Here is my TRX4 Sport, by the way. I put the narrow fenders. These fenders are awesome. It gives me the ability to mount the battery in the front. That was the next mod I wanted to do after I put the Proline Hyraxes on it, was put all the weight in the front, so I have the front battery mount. Uh, as you can see, I have a battery in the middle also, so when I go trail riding, I run on this 5003S battery the whole time. I've actually never ran this down, but if I do, I'll use the backup battery in the front, and it will usually get us, like I do like three or four miles with it. I mean, it goes a long way. So this part, I believe is part number 8080, those are the narrow fenders. They have other fenders that they're wider. I think they use on Defender, but these are the ones for the TRX4 Sport. So go check those out. Uh, yeah, I gotta replace the servo, so. But before I do, we'll go drive X-Max.
Alright guys, that was the first bashing session off-road. I got I got a kind of a confession to make. And this might be bad. I don't know what this is gonna mean to everyone watching or tracks us or whatever, but it wasn't that fun. Like it's just big. It's just a big car driving through. I don't know if it was my bashing area was really the, the grass was kinda high, so it couldn't really go very fast. But it's not a very fast car anyways. Is it durable? Oh yeah, you saw it. I mean, we, we wrecked it really bad on the cement, didn't really break anything. I will say though, whenever I wrecked, it's when it's it's so big that I'm scared something's gonna snap. Nothing broke, but I thought for sure I blew the servo whenever I landed on its side. But there were actually two landings where I thought I blew the servo, but it didn't break. So it is durable, but I don't know. I don't know if it's fun. It's big. Maybe I'm just not at the right spot. I'm gonna try again. I'm also not gonna run on 6S. Maybe it just wasn't fast enough. We're gonna run on 8S. We're gonna try to get in another spot, but 6S at my normal bashing spot, hmm. I think Revos and X Mat or Revos and Maxes are way more fun because I think it's just cool to go super fast where you're like on the edge. And it's more it's more wow factor for the people that are watching. Like they, they just see a big RC car. It looks like I'm playing with a big toy. Whereas when you see a Revo, E-Revo go through the freaking field at 60 miles an hour or 50 miles an hour, they're all, wow, whoa, did you see that? So, uh, it's definitely not taking the reign of the E-Revo right now, but we're gonna try again. We'll try again next time and I'll let you know how it is. So, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.